In this video, we're going to demonstrate some of the list features in the TI-84 Plus graphing calculator, and we're going to show how to add data to a list, clear a list, manipulate values within the list. So to access your lists, we're going to use the stat button, and you can see on top of the stat button, the second function button here is list. To actually make changes to our list, we're just going to push stat, and we have edit, calculate, or calc and tests across the top. We want to edit, and that's going to be our list editor. And see, we have lists, and across the top we have L1, L2, L3. If we move up to highlight the L1, on bottom you can see we have a list of what is in our list, so in uh, with bracket notation. And if we scroll across, we see L2, L3, and we have any number of lists as we go. So what we want to do is we want to do some stuff with L1, L2. Well, first thing, we have some data already in L1. Let's say we want to get rid of it. There's two ways to clear the list. If we just want to remove a piece of data, let's say the 84 here was a mistake when we typed it or we no longer need that piece of data, we just highlight it by using the arrows move the cursor to highlight 84 and hit delete and the 84 is gone. If we scroll to the bottom of our list just to see what some of these things mean, we see this is highlighting L1 10 after. That's telling me this is the 10th element of L1 if I want to add another data point. Let's say I go to L1 9, so the ninth piece of data and hit delete, then that's gone. Now the list has 8. Let's say I want to just get rid of the whole list. Well, I just highlight the list header here, L1, and hit clear and enter, and the whole list is gone. Be careful when you do that because there's no way to get it back. There's no undo button for our calculator. So let's say we want to add data to the list. We just move to this dashed line and start typing in our data. So five, six, seven, as many points as you want to put in. You can use decimals here, you can use fractions with division, any sort of numerical value that you want to put in. So there we go, we added seven points. Again, I know that because now we're at L8, L18. And so now we've added data to the list. So we just type it, hit enter, and we can scroll through it. I'm going to move over to L2, because in list two, I want all these data points again, but I want them doubled. And I don't want to have to work that out and calculate what they'd be and put them in. So what I'm going to do is by going up to the header here, I can say I want to do 2 multiplied by, and now is where you want to put list 1 here. And that's where we're going to use the second function list. So second function list. And this lists my six lists that are available by default. So L1 here, I hit enter. So now you see L2 is going to be equal to 2 times whatever's in list 1. Enter, and you see we've doubled all of these values. And if you move over to list 3, let's say list 3 is going to be the sum of list 1 and list 2. Well, second function, list 1, plus second function list, list 2, again by scrolling or just selecting 2. List 1 plus list 2, enter. So we're adding them together to get the data in this list. Once we can get our data in the list, we can use other features of the calculator to find out which kind of story the data is telling us. In this video, we just wanted to learn how to put the data in, how to delete individual points, how to clear all the data in a list, and how to use list operations to populate other lists based on a previously input list. So now that you know how to input and manipulate your lists, try to play with some of your other features found in the stat menu, such as calculate some things about the list, or we can run some tests. Let's see what options are available now that you can get some data in your calculator.